Hey everyone, Deppon here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 29, as promised. Hopping onto that shoreline raid. I mean, we were stuck in, well, we're still stuck in matching, but yeah, there it goes. Um, but yeah, good stuff. I will see you in that raid, and hopefully we can get these two ES lamps. Alrighty, we're in. Not the greatest spawn for this, but this, this place can have ES lamps as well, and then we could just leave. So, we'll do that. Start by checking here. My cash is not up. Um, so, yeah, chili, chili in the household here just tends to become just whatever's, whatever we got available. Just goes right in. The only unfortunate part about this area is there's no filing cabinets. Because they would be really nice. It's a repellent. What was in here? There you are. Oh, it's a fire steel? Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, I knew there was a spawn there. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> what it was. It sells. Oh, Cory, Let's go. I forget how many of these wiper cleans you need as well. They also trade for BT ammo, so like once we're done that task, if we have any left over, we can just get some BT ammo as well. Don't have to worry about that. I'll grab that blue tape. Yes, that SSD. Boo. A lot of glitched items there. We're going to need that for, I believe it's, I want to say, Nutrition 3? But I could be wrong on that. Slippers bars are scab vests, so always worth I don't know if these can have ES lamps. Maybe. Nailed it. Get some backup balls up there. Not at the start. need a couple of alkali for although i think i, I did that that was nutrition too you need uh, a couple of alkali for i think we did that but either way we're still gonna want to craft bleach with them bleach with them oh, more fire steel nice what was that i think somebody just shot, shot a green laser at me Oh. From where, though? Oh, that gave me the chills. That was weird. Did not like that. It might be worth going just just going to the new area here. Not even bothering with this. Cuz if somebody's there intent to loot like That could also just been like a random laser from really far away as well, but that's like I'm good. I'm good. I can have it, you know. 
Careful of the death signs. say go hop into admin building and resort because there's filing cabinets there but i don't know we've died in resort a lot could also go check to see if somebody opens up our our room for us most likely no stuff. Something about it, man. I don't know what it is. Although now that it doesn't kick like a mule, maybe it would be better, you know? Nice getting our door and leveled up here. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen a scab with a green laser. Wow, it's really dark. It's wild. I know it's because the sun's going down. But it's just like the shadows are just kind of extra. No worries, Mr. Rothfeld. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck in your uh, hardcore run. Oh, he fell too. Let's go. Good bag. I don't hate this pistol either.
25 versus 20 slots. Uh, those are those are the same size. You don't really need those knives. Oh, that scabs up. That's say he's eventually going to start hitting me. It's annoying. We'll let him reset and go from the other way. Get those two fixed up. And the stomach. I don't think it's I don't think swapping arms helps now. They're like going left and right of his head, dude. Oh he fell off too. That's nice. Did I oh yeah, yeah, yeah bullets. They're all green tracers though. Very, uh, very kind of them to fall off for us. I mean, the, the last guy... Last guy was an SKS. That's fine. God damn it. I don't know why... I, why did I pause? Why did I stop? I was so such a dumb move on my part. Why, why would I pause there? I know it's a player. You know? Why would I pause to look around to see if it's a scav? That's what was going through my mind right there. I was like, confirm, it's a scav. It's like, no, that, that's that's a player. <laughs> Good shots, Festival. Good shots. I guess we got three kills. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Man, I keep, I keep bumping into people in there. I don't know why. I guess they need scav kills right now. I, I, I'm not really sure. It just feels like that area is super trafficked. Right now, I don't, I, I don't know why. It just feels really, really high traffic. I guess people are looking for scavs. Yeah. All right, I got, I got one more raid in me today, and then we're gonna splice these together. But what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do this, this, that. Start saving those. We are gonna put on one of these, and then didn't end up needing that, which is good. We're going to put on that. We're going to put that there. Yes, those are all good. I mean, I'm going to use the piranhas like this guy was using. We're not going to go with armor. We don't have, you know, we can't afford that. And I'm not going to worry about it. Like, we're also not going to, like, go out of our way for player kills here. What I am going to do is we're going to focus on filing cabinets on customs i just need i need a different map i need to change the pace here um and i don't really i guess i have this pb we could go back to shoreline with but i kind of want to go back to shoreline with the intention of doing like a really long raid not just farming for es lamps um so but I'm, I'm gonna put all my keys in there's no reason to not uh yeah but use 214 key here 204, 214, checkpoint we have. It's the wrong cabin key, I'm pretty sure. We'll bring it just in case, I guess. 
Yes. Okay. There's plenty of money in there. And then we will we will grab those piranhas out. And then we'll grab seven mils back up. And if we kill a player, we kill a player. Great. Not going to worry about it otherwise, though. And we're going to just go... Is there any other things we need to do on customs? I feel like there might be. Nope. Literally just this. Okay. But yeah, we're literally just going to go there to try to get some stuff get some of this stuff done um and look for these uh es lamps we can hand these in i guess now that we have the extras trimmers close quarters no 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 nope Oh, I guess we could have been jamming, too. Wait, why is this reset? Oh, it's on reserve! When did they change that to reserve? Oh, no. All right, well... Dang it. <laughs> oh, well, that was a really big brain. Uh, I, that's not even a brain fart. That was a really big, uh, oops, didn't read. Okay, well. Well, well, well. We had this PB pistol, basically. All right, well, at least we have some rounds for it. Because reserve would be great for ES lamps, you know? It'd be fantastic for ES lamps, actually. So we'll do that. Yeah, we'll grab all these. Oh, I'm not going to go down in the cage area. Yeah, these are good. The, the night building is where I want to be. That I mean, that's really cool. I'm actually stoked that they changed it to reserve. But, um... Also, dang it, why didn't I check, you know? I guess there's no reason to not bring any of these in. All right. Well, there you go. Reserve time. Uh, I am going to put this on. And we're going to unload you. I have no idea if that stuff's any good or not, but we'll bring that in. We don't need this green flare. All right. Uh, we don't need this thing either. Let's go to reserve. And let's go get our... E we can definitely get ES lamps on reserve. Deal. I'll see you, mate. All right. Hopefully, we can avoid all the players. Hopefully, we can avoid all the players and get two ES lamps to get out. I don't even care if we get scab kills or not. I just... All I care about is the ES lamps. It's like the word, the bad spawn, right? Yeah. Spawn's really bad for us. For those who watch a lot of my Minecraft content, you'll know. I don't I don't read quest books. I don't read stuff. Like we accepted that task, and because I've because I've already done this in the past before. Why would I read it? You know? Why would I bother reading it?
Bones honestly one of my least favorite because it's the furthest away from um It's the furthest away from uh backpackless. This is why we're here, the filing cabinets. That is the LCD we need. The problem with the thing is we've passed up on so many ES lamps. It's not it's not unsurprising. Oh, I see. They ran up but didn't go inside. I understand now. I was very confused as to where that the steps we heard just kind of stopped. Oh, maybe it was that guy. Oh, please and thank you for missing. <sighs> God, he missed a seven mil too. Actually, let's get that filled up first. Technically, this is better than the the MK. They hold the same amount. This just has more one by twos. I don't think it really matters. more effort to switch all right well i mean that's two kills that's nice i must say it is satisfying getting a headshot with this this pistol you feel like um solid snake Nothing, huh? Lots of lighters. Yeah, we're going to need those. Probably. And even if we don't use them immediately. We can certainly, um, ah, yes, one. We can certainly use them on barters and crafting. I should check to see how many spark plugs we have. Let's go. All right. Our only focus now is to get out. And that'll be through backpackless. This thing first. The uh, armor.
Good. All right, let's go. Nice. Okay, we can install a weapon rack. <laughs> Thank goodness. Sometimes when I when I push for these last bits, YouTube, it's just it's a total mistake. I should have put it down, but now we could have uh, you know we actually got out there successfully with it, and we got two suppressed kills. So I'll take that. I just I can't believe those were unreserved. That's wild to me. And I would like to get those done so we can hop back onto customs with our uh, 74U. You know, so good stuff. All right. Good. There it is. Weapon rack ready to go. All right. 12 hours. Perfect. So in 12 hours time, it'll be 3 a.m., which means when we start uh, when we start tomorrow, we're going to have a weapon rack. That's really sick. We also have our vents. Not that that's super, super important, but uh, it's nice. And now that we have the weapon rack, have we collected enough bolts? No. See, this is why we need bolts. We need two more bolts and we need drills. This is our next major hideout gate. Um, you can technically have drills on on reserve. The problem with that is, is like it's hard to get out of the raid with them. <sighs> hmm. So, because you can get them in in contain uh, toolboxes as well as technically filing cabinets. They're pretty rare in there, though. Um, reserve or not reserve interchange has been always the best for me for the loose loot there. So I don't know. I don't know on that. We have six of those. I'm, I'm tempted to start that one. I think I'm going to start this one up and get that ready to go. For tomorrow as well. Might as well get some free storage there. Okay. Get those. Get those. You can do D2. The problem is it's just like that's, that's a whole other risk in itself. But it also has a ton of loot down there as well. You know what I mean? Was there one I passed on Shoreline? So, I guess Shoreline with the loose loot there, there's probably a good chance that they spawn in where all of that loot's spawning. So, maybe our goal will be to get the reserve kills done real quick tomorrow morning. Um, while looting, of course. And maybe we'll try to take an umka in so we have a 2 by 2 slot to bring them out with. Um, was I full? Oh, I should have made room for it. They're really important. Um, because level two of that lets me, oh, we can also barter for this thing. Uh, level two of the, um, of that hideout there lets me start crafting the lenses we need. There go, there's the LCD. So that, that lets, lets me start crafting the lenses that we need in order to, um, get security going, which is our, you know, one of our next bigger gates for generator and such. Yeah, so we'll, we'll need security there. And we're, we're going to have to go to interchange at some point, you know. We're going to have to go to interchange at some point. So, and this is le not until level 32 anyway. So, like, we've got we've got a bit, we've got a ways. We've got a ways. Oh, I mean, we're, we are level 24, though. So, I keep thinking we're, like, level 20 and we're not. What, where are you at? We're actually damn close to that. Oh, no, sorry. It's Ragman 3. I, for some reason, I thought these were check marks. Like, you're good. They are not. Okay, so we're pretty far away from that as well. So, but that's the other reason we need the drills is level four of that. What about you? I actually have most of the stuff. Minus water collector. Yeah, and this one's gated behind workbench too. We do have quite a few hoses there. We'll need to get some keck tape though. But, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to pause now, YouTube. We'll probably hop back in on somewhere in the menu here. But... I think maybe we'll try to get the suppressed kills done on reserve while looting and then see what Punisher part... Uh, well, Punisher part 3 will be AK-74U kills on customs. Or not. Maybe it's somewhere else now. We don't know. We're going to have to pay attention to that. 
Um, but then we'll try to get those going. Try to just sort of see where Punisher is and, and do the best looting we can on the Punisher map. Because the Punisher, as long as I can do the Punish, do the Punisher stuff, we should do the Punisher stuff. I think that's just kind of the uh, the short of it. But yeah, tomorrow we'll have a weapon rack. We can start storing mostly um, guns for Gunsmith, which will be sweet. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So great stuff. And uh, I'll see you when we splice it together. Enter. Switch to weapon rack. Did they change how this works? Do I need to have weapons on me? Well, now I'm just confused. You should be able to transfer. Is it bug chat? Does anybody know anything about this? Uh-oh. Do they have a different system for it now? I really would like to be able to put weapons away on my weapon rack. This is the whole point of this in hardcore. Yeah, maybe relog. Because it, maybe maybe they wanted me to install it. I don't know. That's weird. That's not happening for a while. But we did get to level two last time. Huh? I'm gonna try. Leave, I'm gonna try relogging. All right, the the old turn it off and uh, turn it back on does does work, you know. It does indeed work. All right, what are we putting over there? Basically, all of our definitely all of our um, quest guns. I mean, we really should just put everything over there for now because it just saves us room. Um, this one I'm actually gonna scrap for its. Parts, I think. And there's another side. Oh, there's not another side with this one. Unless that's bugged out too. Oh, so maybe maybe level one is just one side. Or is it just bugged out? Huh. Alright, maybe it's just one side. I don't know. Weapon rack feels bugged out, but either way, that's saving us a ton of room. Hit that with the old auto sort there. But we should, what we really should do is get these two equipped and then, um, or like fully done up and then put them on there. Cause these are, these are the quest guns that we really ought not to be using. So modding here, I'm going to put that one on there, put that on there to save some room. I don't think we have any more of these things here. Yep. All right. We'll put that on there. Um, 74N gets turned in soon. So I think I think we'll keep out the usable guns. Right. Things we, things we can use here. All right. Definitely put that there. This Saga might just be going away. But I guess we'll keep it there for now. Uh, I actually kind of want to use this relatively soon. And we can put this shotgun there. Save a little bit more room. That's good. Well, we have a couple shotguns going. That's that is good. All right. We'll 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 work with that. It's filled up, right? It doesn't really matter. What we got here? We got this. Not enough space right now. That's fine. What did I craft here overnight? Oh, I crafted the piranhas overnight. I know we're gonna need blue gunpowder, but the piranhas are actually gonna be really good for setup. So, um, hopefully, really good for setup. I don't actually know. I, I'm hoping if we just spam click it in somebody's face, they'll fall over. But the shotguns have been really weird this wipe, so I don't know. How many cords do we have? We have a decent number of cords. I don't know how many wires we need right now. I tried to go through. I made a somewhat new list of things we needed to do. Really, we need workbench two. That's our biggest one. And that's going to be bolts and, and drills, which is tough. For sure. Hmm. Can you get a keychain in Tarkov? That's another useful item. Uh, you can get a... Yes, yeah, so you can get a um, a document case, which holds some keys. You can get a key tool, which we're a couple of chlorine away from a barter, which is going to be cool. Um, and then you can get... There's a few other things. Oh, I wanted to hand those to Shunkas in, too. Oh, and we have new dailies? Yes. 
Yes, dude. Eliminate scavs on customs. What do we get? Honestly, pretty good stuff. So we should definitely try to do that. We're gonna so we'll hopefully get to that with um Punisher Part 3. That's actually worth that's actually worth. Oh, part six is available. Let's go. So an AKM. Yeah, okay. That's where we kind of, that's why we kept the Fortis shift. Yeah, the Magpaw Mag, or 40. So this we'll have to keep an eye out for sooner rather than later. Locates the cause of the ja signal jamming on streets of Tarkov. Now that we can, now that we have jammers. Armored train on reserve. I guess that's a nice Taz. And honestly, the mechanic rep is really good too. We are going to have to start working on um, <clears throat> Jaeger tasks. So this one, this one is actually not too bad. Well, I say that it's bad, but if we can get the Mosin with the um, the HPBTs or the SPBTs, I think they both one shot the thorax. And our goal is to try to get pistolings, which is going to be tough. Um, but try to get a pistoling dead on factory, because you can one shot on thorax when they don't have armor on. So if they have armor on, well, you're screwed. Of course. Oh, we can hand these in now because we're we're done with them in the hideout. So we have. Four, five, six, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm gonna turn those in. Save our room. Because we need ten for the uh, generator, so we need three more essentially. And there's other things we need for the generator. Well before that, well, well before that. And this is what I really wanted to turn in was these guys. Although that does trade for your AKM, but I think I'd rather just get that in now. We'll be doing plenty of interchange runs. Yeah. I still can't believe I didn't read this. We're going to definitely read the next one. <laughs> we're definitely going to read the next one. So, yeah, but I think we're going to hop back on reserve. Um, try to get that going. I think that'll be really good. I don't think I have anything else that's suppressed, so we're just going to use this PB again because silly. We'll put those there. Um, I guess we're not using that. Yeah, and we're just, we'll just zero to hear these, and if we find something decent, hopefully we can not really worry about it too much. Um, we should probably be checking the med building at some point. But I think for now, this will do. Maybe we'll bring a grenade. I don't know. We can find plenty of grenades in that, in that map. We'll bring one of these. Okay. Yeah, back to reserve. Um, we got to sneak around, so yeah, we'll choose the time without without the uh, most players and most players scav. So, see y'all raid. Okay. Oh, interesting spawn. Um, we're probably gonna get rushed down here, but it is a good place to kill scavs. So I don't know. I guess we'll give it a shot. I didn't know you could even spawn here. Because a lot of people are working on this task as well. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We have two keys now, which is nice. So, the unfortunate thing is this is a lot of medical supplies. Which we don't really need much of. No, that's not true. We need... Oh, I was going to say we need chlorine, but I don't think chlorine spawns in the medical supply crates. Yeah, maybe they'll finish Russia 2028 in 2028. <laughs> Possible. So, we'll see. We are just talking about game development and, like, how... That was a really, really good tech supply crate. Yeah, four more years, lol. Four more years, Omega Man with a 48 month reset burrito for sub number 11 today. Um, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. But yeah, we're just talking about game development and like BSGs, like they were a small company with a lot of growing pains of like size and scale. I don't think they were ever expecting their game to be this big. 
in particular during that first drops event. Because for those who didn't experience that first drops event, imagine this drops event with Pestle with 100,000 people, but like the servers for, for Tarkov were on fire for weeks, weeks. It was a bit rough, honestly, but it was really cool to see like the game get that popular because I knew I was fortunate enough to say I could be hipster about it and be like, I played it before. It was cool. There's only a couple months, but you get the idea. I um, I was hooked well before that popularity spike, you know. Okay, so we have the both the left hand side ones. I'm expecting some scavs down here, but I guess they're all aggroing upstairs, maybe. But you know, like the, a lot of their game development, this not the, not 2023, but 2022, 2021, 2020. I think those those years were spent mostly putting out fires and developing infrastructure and that sort of thing, you know? Did somebody loot these already? Um You know, so like I think that's I think that's a lot of what they're Game development time has been put into, and then they had to rapidly expand, which they did. You know, they did rapidly expand. Um, or they were, you know, kind of forced to because they they needed they needed the uh, infrastructure and the and the people to work on these things. We do need relays. Would like that fuel, but I don't think we have we have room for that fuel. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. But the, so the, so the the final point on that is this wipe has felt like this was the wipe that they spent all of 2023 game developing. They were actually doing the things they were planning on doing in 2020 when everything was set on fire, you know, and it shows, right? It shows they have really cool ideas. Definitely, maybe some tweaks, but like, honestly, at the end of the day, it's just all the con all this content is really good, and it's not just more maps, more guns content. It's like good content, and the game feels way more finished, you know. Crazy J with the seven stream watch streak. Been almost a whole they got stuck spending almost a whole wipe trying to combat cheaters. Uh, I get the devs props. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 not at all, Great Dan. It's it's an interesting topic a conversation i think yeah yeah no i agree though i agree uh, betas are his not historically have been very long lately and it's an interesting thing you know <clears throat> pubg kind of had the same thing but the the pubg devs just wanted, wanted something completely different than the NA player base wanted. <laughs> you know? The NA player base was not happy with all the decisions PUBG made. It's still super popular in, in uh, the Asia region, I think. Like it's still one of the number one games played in the world. So. What do the jammers do? Uh, I should have left them in my base. But yes, they jam stuff. We need to go back to um, we need to go back to our hideout. Or they just need to go to a different map. I don't know why I brought this in. That's just PS. Oops. Now oh, that that TNT break is only uh, money at the moment. Which So I guess the question is, do we wait for the um, train? That's a lot. Uh, maybe for a nighttime raid. Maybe we'll bring a backpack in. Oh, it's starting to snow again. Nice. Maybe in nighttime we'll bring a backpack in and actually wait for the trains. Not a bad idea. But right now, my bag is not even really filled with anything su superb. It's like... 
got okay stuff in it. What if I should check the med building to see if those are open? For the, uh, the therapist documents. Then the other say, well, what's, what, uh, makes the hatchet OP? Um, you, so in Hardcore Tarkov, you can't, um, buy guns. You can only, like, I have a really good base of guns and, and barters for guns, so I'm not really going to run out of guns and bullets. But it's kind of a reset thing, reset button, where I can go to factory with just the hatchet. The scavs will rush you, but the hatchet's good enough to one-shot them in the head. Um, so it's a, it's a way of getting guns and armor and ammo for free. Especially once I have a factory key, which we have a bunch of factory tests lined up right now. We actually do. We have scout, which is a big one. And then a bunch of like, they're not really meant to be undone on factory, but they're much easier to do on factory tests. Like the close quarter kills, stuff like that. Um... So. Yeah, that's why it's like really, really OP in in hardcore specifically. It's also just fun. It's a week, Abuna God. Thanks for watching for seven streams in a row. Yeah, I mean every every big game in particular, or sorry, every every game, bigger games in particular. Oh, it's a legion. Got to keep an eye out for the um, the elite. We'll have to deal with hackers. That's just the nature of gaming these days. There are just some people who are like that. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, bit of mic spikes there. This game as well, you know. That's how it goes. Not saying we should be happy about it, but... Um, but I understand. I do think they've gotten actually a lot better anti-cheat these days. There's also the game's just less popular in NA right now, so you're just not going to run into any, as much of that in NA as you normally would. Alright. Let's see if somebody opened these up. It's unlikely, it seems. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is one of them. Yes, okay. All right, we need to leave then. If, if they've opened up both. Oh, yes, they have. Okay. We need to leave. This is a, this is a rare opportunity. Because those keys are actually tough to get. And costs a lot of rubles on the flea market usually because they're kind of rare, etc. So, we absolutely want out of here with these. Problem, of course, being I can still buy the scavs with this kit. It's a bit of a bummer. Oh no, there's somebody up on the hill, dude. He looks kind of naked. Don't do it. I don't know what that was. Dark Legend! Sharing that Prime, I'm guessing? Yeah, with the Prime. Thank you, thank you. They didn't look like the most geared. But they looked geared enough. Oh, why'd you restart? 
do that to me, dude. Big win, big win. And let's get some love in the chat, please. That's a brand new sub. In the end, Moot, Dark Legend, thank you so much for sharing your Prime. That's a huge deal. I can't, I can't say that enough. Sharing the Primes, big deal. Big deal. Thank you, thank you. That is a, I, I know that was like kind of a lackluster raid. We didn't even get any items that we needed, but like getting those two journals out without having to have those keys is awesome. That's really awesome. Because I'm pretty sure that's required for Kappa. So, nice. Okay. Yeah, let's go hand those in immediately. This is actually something we never even um, finished um, in our previous run, you know? Which I don't even know if this is required for anything. I just... It's a cool task to finish, you know? You're welcome. Been watching you for a while. Just had a chance to catch your stream. Uh, watching most of the recent... Uh, watch most recent YouTube videos now. No worries. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. That, it's a big deal. It really is. It supports the YouTube content so dang much. I really appreciate it. Ready with that seven stream watch streak? Heck yeah. Okay. Soap suddenly becomes important to us now. Again. These are all good. These are all good. Um... Probably getting rid of that. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, but I might keep this one. I might keep that one. So let's swap those two. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we also might take a little, a uh, little bit of a break here. To, I think I might take a little bit. Of... Do you buy this? Yeah. Take a tiny bit of a break here. Maybe we're gonna hop on to factory and try to get scout done. You know, I think that's not a bad idea. And I think I do want to try. Oh, we don't really have anything that one shots, huh? Yeah, the HBBT is like one of the best ones to do for that. So I guess PS can technically one shot. So we'll do that and then that. And then that'll be the kit. And what happens happens. We're most likely going to die here. That's what's most likely going to happen. Um, and then if we get a broken arm when we die, maybe we can go in and do some tremor headshot kills. Like, stuff like that uh, would be a good way to go. And then we're just trying to get all the exits exits matched up here. And this will kill some time while we get to proper nighttime for reserve. So, that'll be good. I'll see you on raid. I couldn't unpause because my Elgato's shocked right now. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's 25 meters or not, though. Oh, God. Everything's, everything's breaking right now in front of me. I was hoping he hadn't saw me, and I was hoping he didn't have a pistol. All right. I got to pause and fix this Elgato. Really hope I didn't just break it, chat. Oh, 
Well, that's not good. Come on, little buddy. I hit him twice, too. Damn it. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Oh, and that's now recording again? What the heck? Okay, it's back. Uh, you have to ask Twitch chat why it was it was being bad. Totally wasn't my fault. Pine derp. Nope, nope, not my fault. You get that pine derp out of your mouth. Uh, and I'm crazy. Thank you for the 19 months. That is a tier three sub as well from Grim, Grim Ripper. Thank you for the sub. And I'm crazy. Thank you for the sub. We're very close to one hell of a hype train because tier three subs are epic and way above and beyond. Seriously, thank you, and I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, no, it definitely deserves the counter for uh, for that. Okay, so we don't have any more... We don't have any more things here, so... Happy time zones. Long time, no talk. Looking for part of the community again. Quick update. Um, uh, Lady Salt and myself have made it back to San Diego. Toddler sold that. Is that level six? Dang, really? Holy smokes. Retitled to Kid Sold That and Baby Sold That is level two and be retitled to Toddler Sold That. That's awesome. Um, sold That, it is phenomenal to see you. Welcome back in. Yeah, dude, this is, this is a community where you can go away for as long as you want. You're always welcome back in, you know? Always welcome back in. That's This is that kind of community. And it's really good to see you. I'm so happy. Sounds like you and your family are having a really good time. Hope, it, hope everything else has been treating you well. Um... Yeah, thanks so much. It's really good. I can't believe I can't believe how old your kids are. <laughs> that's that's wild to me. That is actually wild to me. Holy smokes! And Cyan Mystic sharing that button as well, getting us into that level two hype train button. territory. Button with a forty month resubberino. Big cheers. Big big cheers. All right, let's just let's just hop back in. I I don't feel like thinking about it right now. Yeah, let's just hop back into reserve and now that we have proper nighttime and hopefully we get some Mosins. We'll have to keep an eye for those barters. Definitely got to loot them when we can, and then we'll just whenever we get a Mosin or a, a VPO, we'll we'll hop into factory and try to get that task done. Um, you know, slowly but surely. That's all we really can do. I'll see you in raid. All right. Sorry, that was probably a little bit of a weird transition there because I'm pretty sure I think I swore in there for a minute. YouTube, not that that's After a big you die, deal. What part of your body is the last to stop working? Your pupils. They die a little late. That was horrendous, Freddy. Thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> that was so bad. <sighs> Thank you for the hundred bits and for being part of this hype train. Twenty percent level two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the Elgato's back. It's good to have everybody here. Is this the good PST? Yeah, it's the good PST. I did complete it once and got the achievement of only 0.03% of players that got it. Oh, 0.3%, not 0.03. That's, I mean, that's still pretty cool. Ah, uh, Nako. That's really cool. Get the cheapest that nobody else does. Okay, so we don't need to go into that building anymore. That's nice. Um, I mean, we just need scab kills, right? Scab kills, weapons, parts. Hey, thanks for that hype train, everybody. Level 2 hype trains are nothing to scoff at. They're really cool. They're really supportive. And they're really appreciated. Thank you. It says only three subs, 300 bits, but one of those was a tier three, which is really six subs. So it was really more like um, eight subs at 300 bits, you know. This is plus five. Pretty spicy. Guess we can start saving money, I guess. 
Should be pine training for hype trains. There should be. I'm re I'm really bad. If you guys have good ideas or even like sketch mockups, I can send to somebody for stuff. I will. I will always accept them. I'm really bad at coming up with ideas for emotes. I really genuinely am. So. That either sells well or does barter for the thing we need. Oh, there goes somebody. Are they going into my building is the question. Are they hooking a left into the med building? And if that's the case, should we go down below here? I was considering bringing in a backpack, but I don't want to bring in a backpack without, like, a good gun to defend myself with and armor. Pine wave emote with angry eyes and an axe. For, for what? For, like, a hype train emote? Cyan Mystic, I always love it when you share those. I, what language is that? If you don't mind me asking, I I know it's your your native. Tough, tough. I love I love that. Oh, I think I actually need that for our next thing. Oh, just show you them in general. Th that no, that's a good idea. I mean, toss it in the idea section in in there. For what I take catch and rate, I mean, yeah, it works. Nice, NM. Well, there's the DVL barrel. I, is it Icelandic? Is that what it is? Oh, or, or you're guessing. Either way, I think it's amazing, Cyan. So there's at least a scab up here, which is good. We need some more of those. Yes, we do need that. Uh, you know what? We'll actually grab that power bank. Reason being, at some point there's a really crazy craft. Oh. For, um... There's a really crazy craft for green batteries. And we're going to need five green batteries. Among other things, for certain stuff. <clears throat> Darn. So hoping they'd have a backpack and we could loot a little bit more. Just there you go. Huh. Very weird. They were they were just I just vaulted over that at one point. This will be good. This will be double duty kills. Suppressed as well as... Ooh, 
That was close. I think I heard another one shout too, so I think there's more. Norwegian. That's still super cool. I, tough, tough. I don't know. I, I love that. Absolutely love that. You can get a lot of scavs down here. This is definitely one of the places where they spawn a lot. Or can spawn a lot. Oh, I actually need that. There's another suppressed gun. <clears throat> the O. Oh, that O is, is specific to Norway. Ah, cool. Gotcha. Nice. K74 and, huh? You know that's intentional or if Twitch Mobile auto use the symbol? Ah. Uh. Hmm. a lot of Salewa kits, huh? I think I'm only going to take the one. I think I have enough blood sets for all the things we need to do with the blood sets. I just don't remember how many you need. We we have a lot though. Oh, interesting. So we could just leave right now. That's kind of fascinating. I mean, it's a quick win, but it is a win. You know, wins are wins, right? Oh, this range is good. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's two kills and a full bag or a full a full rig. Yeah, no backpack spawned in for the battery, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? This may be the key to our success. This this wipe anyway is just a. Willingness to get out quickly and not risk our stuff. I don't have a nade. Could, could camp the extract. I mean, some people are doing that just to farm raiders though. You know what I mean? So. It's, it's always more efficient just to get out with a full bag and then come back in and get some more stuff, you know? As long as you need all the stuff. I mean, well, you needed all the stuff, so. But that's all. That's also three kills. Towards our uh, Punisher part uh, three. What happens when you eat aluminium foil? You sheet metal. Alrighty. Also, this 74N gets t turned in here as well. And this, this actually is actually a big deal. Look at this. So this is for killing scavs for humanitarian supplies on shoreline, which I'm I would like to save these because we might be going back to shoreline at some point. So putting those on would be, I think, a good thing. Okay, so you trade for the dog tag case and this mini. And we have one already. I think I'm gonna trade for the mini for skier. And then I think we're gonna sell the mini. And just like double dip on on dealer stuff. We'll need like five manuals later. These are all good syringes. Always good. That's the last bolt we need for the workbench. We just need drills now. Um, so that's good. Oh, I didn't really mean to put those away in there. We should have room for all of this in here. Okay. Just happened to miss one. Uh, 102 we technically need for a gunsmith, right? 
I could go look it up on my little sheet, but I don't remember specifically. Um, it's not terrible to keep keep hold of right now. We'll just keep this here. It's an AK-100. Let's go ahead and hit this with modding, and then just slap that on there. This this could be turned in perfectly fine. We can just sell all of this junk. We'll keep it. We'll keep it small for now, but All right, let me do this as well. This is a lot of. We should. We should honestly not use after eight healing and just use these grizzlies. And that can go there. Then we'll make a little cell pile here. Uh, although that's actually useful because when we craft seventy four ends, we need stuff to put on. So that's a way to do that. Med box would be another big, nice little upgrade here. So I'm pretty sure, no, wrong 545. That there is one of the, we do need one of these at some point. I actually am running out of bullets for these. Oh, that, that tops up there. Okay. Good. Okay, good. We'll worry about that little salt pile later. We're doing on time here. We're doing all right on time here. Um, yeah. We'll hop in and do it again. Get the getting while the getting's good. I'll see you in raid. All righty. Yeah, this this whole Elgato not working thing, by the way, YouTube really realize, makes me realize like, just how much I rely on that for these live edits. Um, oh, I really don't like this spawn. But it can have some scabs, so. Oh, it's just so perfectly gray. But I do wish they tra uh, they changed the uh, beta container barter back to what it used to be. It was like Lettuxes and something, which is like, everybody complained about Lettuxes, but like, they're easy to get in raid now. While tank batteries are just like, good luck. They spawn on reserve, and the best extract on reserve is backpackless. Good luck. Like, it's just silly. The other stuff actually isn't horrendous. You can't throw, you can't throw melee weapons, no. If they ever did that, and I wouldn't say no to them doing that. I think I just saw something running left to right there. If they did ever do that, though, my hope is that they make it so the blade actually has to be sunken in to an exposed area for it to work. So it's like it's just never going to work ever. Rare, like it's rarely going to work. Like no game does that. The game is just, most games are just like if you hit them, they fall over and die. Well, I think that's that's actually our gunsmith gun. Mag. Okay, that's very important. What do you think about the new armor system? So far, I like it. Yeah, so far, I like it. Honestly, the new recoil, I think, is more of a game changer than the armor plate system. But I could be wrong on that. Soap's actually kind of important right now. Lack, the lack of AKs in that rack is kind of annoying. Another Gen 3. We only need one. The play system is interesting because you have level 5 armor, but that, that isn't level 5 everywhere. It doesn't protect all sides anymore. Yeah. Yep. We already have a level 5 plate that I could theoretically put in an armor. Like a pack of armor. You know. 
that key is useless. But yeah, no, I, I like it. I, I like it. And it seems like the armor itself is like... When it protects you, it basically doesn't take damage. So it's kind of always going to protect you. We may be good on cords. I don't know. We need a lot to, for, for Bitcoin later on. But that's so later on. So I don't know if we need that or not. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. It'll be interesting. Also, Psycho Lizard with a three stream watch streak. Let's go. We got a streaker. Psycho Lizard, it's phenomenal to see you. I hope you're doing really well. Maybe there's a lot of things here we don't need. Goes three, five, seven, ten, and then plus five after that for streaks. I could be wrong. That's my guess. Ah, uh, Freddy, but I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah. I'm really happy we got our journals out. That was a, that was a cool to get done. It's really cool to get done. Uh, let's go do this level two one. So this is filing cabinet plus big, big boy container. If they nerf the rep from the car extracts. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. I don't think you need the short barrel for the MK47. You need a long barrel for it. Lurking the best wipe ever. Heck yeah. Lurking the best wipe ever. Thank you for that. Half a year in the moot. Much appreciated, Camos. Much appreciated. Didn't see that. Uh, Save Unica. What does Hayo mean? Hayoi mean. Care to explain? Hey, Lava Wolf. How are you today? Really great to see you. Chad, I hope you're having an exceptionally... Exceptionally good Thursday. Feels like Friday right now, but that's just because of my streaming schedule. In a Minecraft event, but it will make sure I will make sure you're alert. Hey, thanks. Have a have a good Minecraft event. It's awesome. We're going to start to need a ton of those. Not right away, so, like, these can be cut for things. Like money. 1,200 people on a single server is crazy. That is crazy. Well, best of luck breaking stuff. I don't think we really need that right now. these for something. I don't remember what. Alright. Let's get the roof going here. Very quiet raid. Could have lots of folks in D2. Honestly, I haven't heard that many shoot much shooting down there, so there's a good chance there's not a lot of people in D2. So I think we're good on cords for now. I think I might start focusing back up on... Yeah, it sounds like people are, like, outside. But I might start focusing up on, um... 
starting to make money again. the other orb room. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It's an acronym. It stands for Hey You, Organic Entertainer. I know that took you like a little bit to come up with, but like that was actually impressive for the amount of time it took you to come up with. Consider me impressed. Struggled on the O. Mm. Oh, I dropped that mag. We need that. It's an egg. Guess we'll grab it now. That mag go. There it is. Gotcha. Watch them windows. You watch those windows. Actually, we need food and water right now, so Let's see if we can find some juice or something. I do need that shus at some point. Military cables are going to be relevant, even if they trade. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to start saving up beard oil. Because the beard oil will let us... Um, trade for M700s that we can just slap a laser onto and try to get our close quarter kills with with FMJs. I think that's a death. Oh, nice. Oh, hello. For context, YouTube chat's having a debate right now whether it should be organic or optimal. Yeah. I guess the question is then, are we trying to take the train out? I think we'll make that decision later. Like there's still scavs and such over there. There's a Mosin over there too, which I'm really tempted to try to get. I could risk D2 too. Yeah, no, that's true. I, it, it sounds like, I guess we could check it, but it sounds like nobody's gone down there, which would have a lot of scav kills as well, and a lot of filing cabinets. But. There's some ration crates here, I think. Or medical. I 
I require liquids. I do have a daily for the train exfil, yeah, yeah. So that might be the play here as well. It's just kind of like chill out this area for a very long time and then head over. We will need Iskras eventually. There's definitely some optimizations we could be doing here. This is just money. Let's get that going. No, see, I want those bolts because the bolts are going to be more, um, more ammo, or not ammo, mag boxes for us. Could find a bigger bag, yep, yep, yep. That crafts that, don't really need that. I would like a grenade to disrupt things. See, I keep, I keep coming back to I need those. So we'll just drink that. That sells well enough, at least. At least we're full. Oh, I have this key. Nice. What are you again? You're AM. Got it. It's a pretty good key, especially early on. Like, if we're looking for, like, filters and such, it's really not bad. Just me or scabs out of any bags, as much bags anymore? Uh, they do. They just, yeah, they're a little more annoying with them. Uh, I'm going to need that suppressor as well, huh? All right. Might be hard to put on a, uh, is that a 2D? Something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Worrying about our current gunsmith task. See, I'm pretty sure I have this, but I don't actually know. We are going to need more nails, but we'll worry about that when we actually need to craft it. Put for fire steel? Yeah. I have no desire to fight a fight with a player, Scav. Could take the friendly extract together, I guess, but... I think somebody else could be waiting for train as well. I suppose that's always possible. Yeah, and I'm gonna need Tris eventually. I forget it's it's like five ish I need, and I think I only have one. I'm trying to do my best of uh getting exactly the right amount and then not bothering with the rest. Just Getting it preemptively. It's been really helping out with uh, accelerating through our hideout here. Okay, so somebody was looting down here. Which is, I'm a-okay I'm a -okay with. I just want scab kills.
or back or a bigger backpack. That actually works for setup. That's right above me. That's fun. Kind of seems to me like somebody's going to be waiting for D2. Or, sorry, waiting for the train. It's weapons parts. So we need for pack armors. It's got to be in the night buildings, right? So we could get rid of the Schuss and grab this Umka. I think I'm going to do that. It'll give us a little extra room for stuff like that. Right, if we find a better bag, we can come back and pick it up. We need, like, an MPSS or, or above. Oh, that could also be in... I'm trying to get my positioning right. That could also be over in um, the night buildings there. Sounds like a Mosin's fighting somebody with, like, a bad ammo, high fire rate gun. Parts are that. Hmm. I'm gonna take this because it has a it has a higher capacity. If this had more than that, I think I would. Uh, grab it. I'm not going to lie, I'm very confused that the noise is happening in this game. Or in this raid. Somewhere right in front of me here. Two. Can't tell where he is and what he's looking for. Could be me. I 
I feel like I should be able to see him right here. Raiders, maybe? No, not with that. It's just weird to me that oh, there was two steps over in K buildings, and they weren't taking out the scab. Maybe they're using it as bait. Very strange to me. I think I lost a mag, but that's okay. I will need these ray benches at some point. And oh, I can wear that. Let's go. Keychain? Well, these are 30s. Only green tracer, though. All right. Well, let's go loot up in here as much as we can then. Before taking the train out, it'll give us a it'll give us a bell warning, and then we'll have a minute to get on. Try to run over over open ground in the dark in the snow has got to be so risky. You no longer have the darkness jelly. It's true. It's true. You were born in the darkness, molded by it. <laughs> It's a lot clearer on my screen than it is on the stream. The streams, streams and all that stuff tend to be a little darker than what the player actually sees. It's just a little more... There's more clarity. Oh, I didn't actually lose a mag. Uh, there's more clarity in front of me, you know. But even still, I'm not taking super precise shots, you know. Uh, I think we'll be okay on that. Just sort of guesstimating there. Okay, we have a minute here. Let's loot on the train. There should be some stuff on the train here.
mean, taking the train out is actually super viable, I think. Oh, did they remove all the stuff on the train? Kind of feels like they did, huh? Weird. I think we're good, though. You know, I'd rather, you know, I'm not the best at timing stuff. I, mean, I, I can look at the clock, but I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Yeah, oh, that's true. They did they did dynamic loot. It could be that. Uh, Peter, with the cheers five minutes ago. Big cheers. Hello, Mars. How are you? Hope we're doing well today, Peter. And that gives you six seconds. We're going on a train ride, chat. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is going to be a really long episode. Sorry about that, YouTube. I guess it's just a longer raid. That's okay, though. Well, there's one one of our two for our daily. So, And we still need more suppressed kills here. So if we do that one more time, we'll probably get enough kills. Plus, take it out, you know? And the daily wasn't really amazing, but it was fine. You know? Yeah, only the two. We got to check this out close we are. All right. Excellent. Yeah, we also are, you know, getting some squash towards our stuff. These will be good later, later. I'm pretty sure we have three of those, but I'm sure we'll, we'll find a use for them. Uh, that's definitely good. This is good for just food, like to actually eat. Um, this is going to be super important for later. Or actually the current gunsmith that we're working on, which is nice. These masks are really important. We need to start saving them for pack up, uh, up barters. So, we will be doing that. Um, I would very much so like to turn this into weapons parts. This is an armor. That's for a gunsmith later. That's for the current gunsmith we're working on. Kind of need those extra. Always need the bolts. Oh, boy. It's, it's happening again, chat. It's happening again. All right. Uh, this needs to go on its appropriate mount because it only takes up a slot then, which is real nice. Uh, oh, nice. Well, we'll slap that on there. Why not? All right. This umka's kind of free. Let's get these things sold. And in general, just kind of clean up the, uh, the old stash here. Let's get, I guess, Jaeger going. I guess we'll get proper going too. Doesn't really doesn't really matter. End of the day. We're we'll getting these guys too. You're going in there. Oh, I did. I was gonna. I did say I was gonna sell that. Let's. Yeah. Let's. Let's sell that. It's room. It gets us room and money. These can go into here. Those are all good. Oh yeah, that can get sold. You don't have a mag in you, right? No, but you have the nice sights on you, so we'll keep you. I might be able to put those sights on the uh, Glock 18, I guess. Oh, I was going to sell this thing, too, once we got rid of this guy. Because it doesn't have any sights on it. That's so silly. But it's something, I guess. But then we have a mag we have extra mags for this 5.7, which is really nice. Okay, hit that with repair. Um, okay, put that away. All right, and then we're gonna turn this into weapons parts. I don't care about, I don't really care much for all those. These are important for later coming up on Ragman tasks. This needs to go away. Okay. Oh, and then our key, what do we get? I got orb one. We're orbed out of our minds. Let's go. That's that's actually really sick. Orb keys are good. Um, I think I'm gonna bring these all in. Whatever we lose an umka, we lose an umka. All good. Uh, actually, no, no, not all good. Let's let's. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and that, that nets us a little bit of room, you know? That nets us a little bit of room there, which is good. It's better than nothing there. And that shotgun can go here. And then as we're loading in the hideout, and then this, the, this space will be clear. We'll put that Yushunko away. As we're loading in the hideout here, YouTube, we're going to call this an episode. Um, a bit of a long one because I'm mistracking time because this is a spliced together episode. 
Uh, but seriously, thanks so much for tuning in, watching these all the way through. Really appreciate those who do. It's a big deal. Really helps support the content. Uh, make sure you sub to the channel if you're not already. Maybe come check out the Twitch chat. Um, love to have you here. Huge, huge shout out to all the... Oh, is that the wrong VPO? Did I, grab out the... Did I grab out the wrong VPO? I think I grabbed out the wrong VPO. Okay, fair enough. I'm probably just going to sell that then. Although we could craft that into an AKM. Hold on, where's that AKM and craft? If we find one of these. So maybe we're going to try to save that and craft that. I think we can also turn off the generator here. Oh, there's some extra room saving in here too. But I think we're going to go next episode. We're going to hop into one more, one more um, shoreline, shoreline reserve raid. I'm just going to sell this. Um, one more, one more reserve raid. And that will get us uh, hopefully the last few of these kills here. Yeah, we need five more. We could totally do that in one raid. Um, just need to be a little bit patient. And then that'll get us off reserve. And then we can see what Punisher... Well, Punisher Part 3 is used to be AK-74U kills on customs. I think that's probably still going to be the same. And then we can do some other stuff with that. Um, I would like to get factory stuff going. I would like to get this going. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll see. There's a lot of interesting stuff happening here. A lot of interesting stuff happening here. But hope oh also hopefully we can take the armor train out and get get this Taz. I mean, even if it's just money that we're making here, that's kind of a sweet deal. So thanks for tuning in, YouTube, and we'll catch you next episode.